Hey everyone, Josh Tedder here from Six Months Later, and this video is going to be a little bit different than what we typically do on the channel. I'm mainly making this video because I wished something like this existed out there when I was trying to decide whether or not to get the latest iMac i9 27 inch from Apple. This video is going to look into how the game City Skylines, which if you're unfamiliar, it's a very popular city building game, how it runs, on Apple's latest iMac hardware. Now this iMac behind me, this is a 2019 iMac. It has the i9 eight core processor in there. I've installed 64 gigs of RAM on this machine and upgraded the graphics to the Vega Pro 48 graphics. So this thing has already been able to handle video editing, photo editing. I think I finally put enough RAM in this machine to be able to handle Chrome. So yeah, without further ado, let's look at how City Skylines runs on the latest i9 27 inch iMac from Apple. All right, and welcome to my latest city. This is Yatkinville City, located in the Yatkinville Valley area. So I'm playing this at a 4K resolution, and I'll show you the settings right now. So I'm playing at a 4K resolution, a little bit above 4K. We're gonna drop it down a little bit to not a 4K resolution, but keep all of the graphics on medium just to see if the game performance improves and you can see the FPS counter at the very right hand top of the screen there and right now we're getting about an average of 30 frames per second everything looks fluid and the level of detail is still relatively good this is also pretty impressive considering that the particle effects the snow is right now on because we have dynamic weather turned on so let's go back into the options let's go ahead and move everything to the highest settings so we're gonna do texture quality high, all right? And then with level of detail, we're gonna place as very high. Let's go ahead and apply that. And we're gonna keep it at the same resolution and just see what that does to the game. You notice now that the frames per second have dropped considerably. We're now in the teens. Now, a couple of things to point out here. I am using QuickTime when I'm capturing the game here. So that is going to make the performance a little bit more laggy. And I am using the Steam overlay as well, which typically does decrease performance a little bit. Let's go ahead and max it out though at 5K. This is a very hard resolution for the computer to render, especially with these particle effects and high level of detail and graphics here. And you'll see that the frames per second rate now reflects that. We are getting 10, 12 frames per second. Not very playable. This isn't super playable. You could still do it if you wanted to, but I don't know, typically, at least for this game, I like 30 frames per second and above for the game to be super playable. Unfortunately, the iMac cannot handle the max graphics and max resolution for the game. Let's go ahead and just turn dynamic weather off here, though, just to see what's going to happen. All right, dynamic weather is now off. We're now looking at this lovely park here in Yakinville City with its fake river that flows out into the sea. And you'll see, we're not seeing a huge FPS difference from when the dynamic weather was on, maybe one or two frames per second. This area of the city has a lot of the citizens come through. This is where major underground networks of subways as well as the above ground monorail all come together. So this is a hard area of the map for the computer to generate all the people. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the resolution here and see if that improves the performance at all. And it does improve a little bit on FPS, but we're still getting low into the teens. So let's go ahead and we're going to bring the graphics down to low. So we're gonna see if we can keep the resolution pretty high at a 4K resolution, but just drop the graphics settings to low and see how that affects frames per second here. And you'll see here that it does, it does improve the frames per second a little bit. This makes this game a little bit more playable here. And as we move out of the area of the city with so many people on the computers having to render where all those people are and where they're moving to. Let's go ahead and drop the resolution again though. I wanna see, let's drop it down to something like 2560 by 1440. Let's go ahead and see how this resolution does. And you can see immediately the FPS number is much better here. The game is much more fluid. Ah, uh, Yatkinville City. 
All right, so now I'm gonna show you where I keep my settings. So this is the resolution that I keep my settings at. I keep it at 4096 by 2304, and I keep all of the graphics to medium. This seems to be a happy medium, no pun intended there, of good graphics performance plus FPS that is doable and playable. And here are a couple of shots of what the city looks like in my ideal graphics settings for this game on Mac OS on the latest iMac. You can see in these still shots here, we're getting about 30 frames per second. Now, as we move throughout the city, you are going to see the FPS drop into the 20s and maybe upper teens if there's just a lot of things that the computer has to render. But overall, at this setting, this game is still very playable and it looks way better than it has on any other piece of Apple hardware that I've played it on. I've played this game on a 2016 MacBook Pro with dedicated graphics as well as a 2012 MacBook Pro with dedicated graphics. And this computer plays this game much, much better than the previous machines I've owned and tried to casually game and play City Skylines on. Now, one thing I do want to mention is people in previous Mac OS releases have seen the FPS drop in this game. This is likely due to Apple not supporting OpenGL anymore. There is a way to force the game to play with OpenGL. The way to do this is you go to Steam, go to your gaming library, right click on your game, select properties, and then click set launch options. There you can type in this code and I'll put this in the description below, dash force dash OpenGL. This causes the game to run with OpenGL and in previous Mac OS systems, I've noticed a significant difference between have, using OpenGL and not using it. In Mac OS Mojave, it's harder for me to tell if it's actually making a significant difference or not. When the iMac runs this game, it runs it very smoothly. I've been able to keep the graphics at the medium level, playing in a 4K resolution, and overall I get around an average of 30 frames per second, which is like pretty decent when you're looking at Mac hardware and just gaming on Mac hardware in general. So overall, based on my past experience with this game and on Mac OS and Apple hardware, I've been very pleased with how this game now runs on the latest i9 iMac from Apple. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. If you like tech products, especially from Google, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, subscribe to the channel because that's mainly what we talk about on this channel. Thanks again for watching this video. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder.